I cannot tell you how many times that I ran into some friends out there and uh, they say, hey Alberto, uh, you should have been here yesterday or you just missed the bite. Um, and I basically just say, really? Um, well, the truth of the matter is I'm not targeting the fish that they're targeting. Um, the fish that I'm targeting, it, it's, it's literally a, a, a very specific fish. Um, and, and everything that you know about striped bass fishing, per se, let's just say, uh, you know, they, they're aggressive, they, they compete against each other and all that, those are the school class fish. And it's, it's all about competitions, and that's where, you know, a fast moving lures and what have you, that will catch the fish. But what I like to do is, and, and I'll tell you why, um, I like to change that, that theory where you're going one fish at a time. And the reason being, um, is just think about this for a minute. Think about a senior person compared to the young, young guns out there. Um, the young guns are very aggressive, but the senior ones are very calculating. Very calculating, they take their time, and, but they'll get their meal. Uh, and big bass, um, the cows, um, you know, and, and, and not to digress to another area, how many times have one seen where you see a school of, 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 of bait, bait fish and people catch one fish after another and that school is just moving, moving fast and everybody's just following that school. But if you really stop for a minute, look what's really happening. Those who are following the aggressive school of fish, they are catching the, the smaller fish. But if you could turn around, you're going to find seasoned fishermen out there letting everybody pass. Watch carefully what they're doing. They're pulling bigger fish only because those bigger fish are taking the remainder, the easy meal. And that process, that thinking process, is no different when you're targeting big fish at nighttime or even the daytime. Um, because it's about that water movement, you know, and everybody uh, are scr uh, scratching their head. And, and I've said it numerous times on my seminar, you know, it's around that slack of water. Um, you know, and literally, if you understand how the water moves, the tide, you know, you're actually, when you're, when you're so honed in, in into the, that tide, it's almost like making an appointment with that fish. It's, it's, you're going to get that bite. You know, it's a magical 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes or so, but because the water's moving uh, slower. And the aggressive fish that were there before, on, on, on a moving tide, they move away. And it's, 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 it's calmer, it's quieter. And those big fish will move in quietly. There's just easy pick, their easy meal, and they move on. And now if you look at the tail of a big bass, it's like a broom-like. And basically what that means is, you know, is the, the, the fork tail fish means they're aggressive, fast swimmer, and they're chasers. The broom-like very uh, are ambush fish, and they're very calculating because they're they're not fast swimmers, opportunist feeders, if you will. And because they're opportunist feeder, you know they'll use the best time. So ultimately, um, around that slack water, they have freedom to move anywhere they want to. And the bigger they are, they don't want to waste all that energy. So the only time for them to really be able to hunt their meal is when the water is moving nice and slow. And that is the magical time. And if you put that idea into a perfect ideal structure, okay, and you know this fish is gonna be there, and if you calculate according to the fish migration, whether they're from the Chesapeake, from the Hudson, from the Thames, or what, what have you, you know, providing that it, it, it actually coincides to the area that you're fishing, all right, um, the likelihood, or I should say, the percentage of you connecting to that fish is going to be extremely high, you know, and, and, and that's how I fish, you know, and despite what everybody does, you know, you want to target that big fish, that's what you got to do. Put away everything that you know about how to catch a striped bass. Think about hunting the big fish, and that's the art, and that's the fun of it.